okay so I have opened this file which was made by Mother Surala and yeah in this he has made a part and then has actually sectioned it in three sections uh, two of them are base metal and one is the heat affected zone or, or the well nugget zone and then he has defined a crack in, in the well nugget zone and um, then he has actually used everything now if I want to if I want to apply residual stresses in, in the area here which which let, let, let me show you um, um, yeah this area what I have to do is I have to go in the predefined fields and in predefined fields I have to select the step initial and in mechanical I can see velocity, stress, geostatic stress and hardening. I have to select stress here I have to press continue I'm doing this again and then I have to select this area and then I have to press done and then I here I can apply the stress in any direction this is what we did before for example if I want to apply uh, 200E minus 200 MPA and then I want do not want to apply in the any other stress and that's okay the options might not be here if you have not defined a static general step here if you have defined a step if you go slowly step by step down to this line that down down this point if the step is defined you will shortly see all the options here like 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 I showed you this one but if you have not defined this step and you're just after defining a part and doing an assembly and not defining the step you're looking into these options you probably won't find stress or geostatic stress so you only find velocity or hardening so complete all the steps do all the uh, modeling before actually coming to the predefined fields that's that's what I recommend and after defining the predefined fields now I have applied to the digital stress in this area in compressive y direction here you can see that and now what I'll what I'll do is well, what I'll do is um, that I'll I'll submit a job job one okay let's say we have submitted it it's running and it's complete okay see the results and there are the results because uh, um, instead of the crack opening the crack has actually closed together and this is probably because I applied the residual stresses here so you can see the effect of residual stresses on this area so so this is a verification that the residual stresses are working now the residual stresses are working in this area but the crack probably didn't open because because our applied load here was less than the residual stresses which were in this area so let's go back once again and increase our load let's say oh yeah it is it is really less it is 1 MPA let's increase it to 1 let's increase it to 650 MPA and uh, okay uh, it's it's applied pressure so the negative will be in in in, in this direction in, in the opposite direction so now I, I'll submit the job again Hmm, let's see. Running and it's it's completed, okay. That's good. I've got a really nice computer here. <laughs> okay, so now you can see that although there are residual stresses here, but the crack has opened up. And now the simulation is not really good, the mesh is not really nice, but but we just want to post process the results. Um, um so there are residual stresses in this area and the crack has opened because we applied too much stress here um, so now what we want to do is that we want to uh, actually see that if if the problem has been magnified so the first thing we want to do is options common and see yeah you can see here that that uh, the deformation scale factor 
the simulation has been scaled up to 6.3 times I can actually scale it down to like it was actual and now you can see that uh, after actual scaling this is what after applying this much stress on here and and these properties this is what we will see and um, if we want to s find out what is the uh, uh, crack opening here crack mouth opening what we can do is you can use the tools query distance command here I can select this first point here and second point here and it will give me a distance between these two nodes you can see it here uh, let me increase it a bit yeah this is the distance between two nodes and you have to look at this the overall magnitude is 7.76 whatever the units of the deformation were and um, um, yeah in x direction it is this much and in y direction this is this much but but I recommend that you always see the deformation distance unscaled unscaled and magnitude and it actually gives you a displacement vector between these two points what is the distance between these two points okay and the next one the, ne the next thing we want to do is that we want to see that what is the value of j integral at at the crack tip one way to do is to plot xy data of history output of the fifth contour and plot it and there you will see a small point the point shows the energy release rate here here this is the value for example it is like uh, 5 12 5 13 so some something like that I don't know what the units are and it is also e6 probably the units in the simulation are messed up but, but but this is one way of looking at it the other way of looking at it is that you can actually go into your working directory and there you'll have job one because the name of our job was job one you will have job one dot dat data file here it is if you open it with any text editor and you go down in it here you will see that that same value on fifth contour for the crack one on fifth contour you you will see this value this is the value of j integral on on the crack tab these are two ways to see it okay and if we if uh, now there are many ways to actually um, um, see the output um, um, I'm also interested in looking at how in this specific frame for example you have to select the frame here which you are interested in this was the initial frame in which there are compressive stresses here and the rest of the part is not compressed and if you want to apply compressive stresses here you should select this as well while applying compressive stresses okay and you have to select there can be many steps you have to apply select the step in which you're interested to find out the stresses in this area once you select the step now you have to define a path select all the nodes on which you want to find the value of stress the nodes here are not totally aligned with the crack tip they uh, if if you really are interested in finding the linear if uh, finding how the stress is decreasing in the linear direction what you what you should do is that you should select the node list uh, and then you can name your path whatever you want and then what you have to do is because only we have one part air after select add after and then select all the nodes and you will see it will it will create a path through all these nodes see 
so it is drawing a line on these nodes for example let's say I am interested in going in this direction and now what I'm interested in doing is that I want to know what was the value of stress on this node then on this node 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 when it will be plotted in the form of a graph I, I will actually visualize how the stress is because the stress is maximum in this area it is decreased here of course you can see then it has it is slowly decreasing out to this end and I want to see a graph how these values are dropping along this path I have select I have selected this path I'll press done and this is a path defined I'll press OK and now you have something in the path you can see that path one is defined here now you can get all the data on this path for example you can select this path here continue and on this path you, you you can select the paths which you are interested in if you have selected multiple if you have defined multiple paths you'll you'll see multiple paths here and the, the one which you will select will be highlighted here and then you are interested in the deformed shape and yeah for the step which we have selected it will automatically select it and now we are interested in what do we what are we interested in finding here we're interested in stresses mises and they can be mises or they can be the components of stress for example in x direction stress in x direction stress in y direction stress in z direction stress in shear direction um, for now we are interested in stress mises and we select apply okay and we say plot it so you can see a graph here this is how the values of stress on the path have evolved as the distance from the tip of the crack increased along the path which we have defined and on on the x-axis you can see the true distance where zero is the distance where okay let's see five where zero is this point and this was the path which we defined and five is is, is this point and when you will look at the data that's how from zero to crack tip to the point which until which we defined the path this this value increased another manual way of doing this kind of thing can also be if you want to use the query and probe value tool the probe value tool comes in really handy when you are just interested in finding the data roughly and, and guessing what what the uh, things will be or the specific elements or specific points for example here you have to select nodes or elements you're interested in and then the components which are selected the value attached to the element okay okay uh, for this to define the probe value you have to select here what you're interested in if you're interested in stress mises you can do that if you're interested in deformation you can you can select deformation and here it will show you the magnitude of deformation if you're interested in stresses then it will show you the stresses here so you have to select what output you want to see in the pro value from here and then there is a small probe with you you can see a small point there there that is your probe wherever you will put it it will it will show you the value of miser stress there and if you will just click it there it will save that value right here so this is the value of stress at this point this is a manual way of getting the value so you can just put your probe here and can check what the value was here and then you can put the probe here and here and here and here and you can see that the value of 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 the stress is dropping this is another way of looking at the quantitative results of your simulation you can also select deformation you can also select many other things and you can just probe the values which you are interested in that's the manual and crude way of doing the data but once you are like you want to predict that how the, the value is you actually want to make a graph out of it it is better to use the path command and then plotting the results on the path as uh, I showed you earlier 
and then there is okay okay it is not uh, oh, I don't want to okay um, and then there is one more thing for example you want to see how the stresses at this point evolve from initial time to the final time the way of doing it is you have to select the ODB field output yeah and unique nodal select unique nodal because then you can use all the nodal data here and then you can select uh, stress mises and here you can select the node you're interested in by selecting the node you have to press done and then select plot and this was the stress miser stress on our selected node at zero time and this is the value of miser stress on our selected node at one time if there were intermediate uh, step times we would have obtained multiple points here but but we have only one point here and one point here and it is just plotting a line between it to show you how the stresses on this point actually evolve with time but actually it didn't calculate anything in between so that's that's what the results are like um, um, yeah and this is the deformed value uh, I don't know what else I can show you the value of J integral yeah that, that's probably it uh, if you want to know anything else you can just put on the queries and I'll try to answer uh, about the post processing of the results as much as I can but it majorly depends on how the user uh, wants to post process his results and there are literally thousands of options available here uh, by which means you can post process your results and you can also get the data from here and then for example you can uh, apply operate on XY data by using all these functions here you can actually take log of the values at this point and then plot them and then and, and many things many things like that that totally depends on what the user wants the output from and only that's how they can Mm, that's only then we, you will know that what type of results you want to get. Okay, um, see you guys later. Bye.